this video i will show you how to create logos on a grid look setting up grid for your logos shouldn't be that complicated i will show you how to know the number of lines to use per logo how to arrange them and when to introduce shapes such as circles in your grid without much ado let's jump right into it This video is brought to you by Brand and Graphics channel and my name is Vincent Annie. When you watch grid logo design tutorials, you notice that they start by setting up the grid and then they design very fast. And while that is going on, you keep asking yourself these questions. How do I know how many lines to use? When do I introduce circles? And how many circles should I use? And so on. In this tutorial, I will let our design tell us how to set up a grid. The first thing we do is to select the line tool, increase the stroke size. And draw a line. Hold the Alt or Option key. Click and drag to duplicate. How do we know how many lines we need for this design? Take a look at this monogram logo. You notice that edge stands on two legs, plus one space at the middle. Each stand will occupy a column, same with each space. Therefore, edge will occupy three columns, while M takes five columns. M stands on three legs, plus two spaces. Now use Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate the line 12 times to get 14 lines in total. Align the lines and group them. We can't really design on these lines. These are just lines and we need a grid. To create a grid, so we copy and rotate these lines by 90 degrees. Now we have a grid. If we write HOM on this grid, the logo will not be circular in shape. To create a circular monogram, we will draw a circle on top of the grid. Hold the shift, hold the shift key to draw proportionally. We will need a second circle, so we copy this circle and paste in place. We have two circles now. Hold Ctrl and Alt key and reduce the circle by one line. Then group everything. Select the Shape Builder tool, swap color, and write HOM. Zoom in and check for any imperfections. Go to Object and Ungroup twice. Select the letters of the logo and remove them from the grid. More inspections. Then increase the stroke size to your preference. Go to Object and Expand. and unite.
That's our first monogram logo. Our next logo is WD. Here we need to upgrade our grid so we can create diagonal columns for the letter W. Select this and rotate it to 60 degrees. This is for the left side of the grid. Rotate again to minus 60 degrees. And this is for the right side of the grid. If we place letter W here, it will, it will not be put together, it will be too wide. We need a V shape by the right side of the grid. Now pick up the Shape Builder tool and write letter W. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and the YouTube algorithm will push this video to more people that need it. And that's how you help my channel to grow. I appreciate it. You notice that letter D has curves, therefore it needs a circle. Position the circle in such a way that it forms a D. Copy the circle and paste in place. Then reduce the circle by one line. There are a lot of imperfections on this logo, but we don't need to redo it. Pay attention and see how we will take care of this. First, select the logo with direct selection tool to reveal the anchor points. Then, select the delete anchor point tool and begin to delete some of these anchor points. Use the direct selection tool to round the corners if you choose to.
increase the stroke size to 2. Expand and unite. The next logo is VD. Use the Shape Builder tool to write letter V. Add a circle for letter D. Use the healing tool to smoothen the rough parts. Next logo is WJ. We can shorten this branch of J using the line tool and the shape builder tool. Next logo is KO. We need circles for letter O. We need one more circle.
This is our last logo. And that's how to design logos on a grid. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos like this.